and I'm back again here today. Today is a Saturday, so it's weekend and I'm so happy to be able to sit down and talk to you guys again. So as you guys can see in the name of the video, this is going to be about my Louis Vuitton Alma BB in Rose Ballerine and this is the Vernier leather, so the patent leather. And I'm really so so happy for this bag and I'm just so sad that I got this problem. So many of you guys have been asking me how is your rose ballerine holding up and did you have any problems with color transfer and stuff like that. So I'll go into details about color transfer and this leather and I'll go into details about how I tried to clean it and including my experience with Louis Vuitton. I went there yesterday. So yeah, this is so sad but this might be so helpful for those of you who are considering to buy this handbag in this color or any specific items in this light pink rose ballerine color. It's a gorgeous color. I really love the baby pink. It's You guys know I really love pink color and this is just the perfect baby pink color that goes with every kind of clothing and I really love it so I was just so sad to see this color transfer so without speaking too much let me show you first. So as you guys can see it has absolutely nothing in the front so as I told you guys, my Canon DSL camera, I've turned the autofocus off so I don't know if you can catch it well but if you can't, I'll input some clips and I will film some close-up clips after this video to show you guys the color transfer. So this is the front of the bag and it does not have any problems there. And here's the back. I don't know if you can tell but it's not really that obvious but it's right here. I don't know if you can see it, so it's just right there, so I don't even know if you can see if I put it close up. So as you can see, the mark is right there. And sad enough, it actually comes from the handle itself. So I'm really sad about this, I haven't been using this back since January so before my wedding and I just noticed this problem like a few weeks ago or not even a few weeks ago I think two weeks ago when I was actually taking out all my bags because uh, my housekeeper was cleaning the cabinet for my handbags and the shelf so I was just checking up on all handbags and then I saw this problem and I don't even know when it happened because I'm sure if it was the last time I used it in January, um, I would have seen it. So it has come by itself just by stirring it in its dust bag and box. So I was really sad about that and I posted a picture on my Instagram account and I'm so so thankful to you guys who have answered me and like given me so many suggestions to how to clean it. But sadly it didn't work so I tried everything that you guys recommend me. The only one thing that I didn't try is the rubbing alcohol, which uh, another YouTuber, her name is Sophie Showhead, and you guys may know her because she does a lot of handbag videos. And actually she told me to buy some rubbing alcohol because she had the same problem. She had a big color transfer on her patent leather Lady Dior, and she told me that she got it removed with that rubbing alcohol, but it's really strong, so so she also told me to take care when I do it and just try with a bit at a time instead of like rubbing it all into the entire mark. And I'm really thankful that she contacted me and I will try that but I just still haven't found the rubbing alcohol and I don't know where to buy it. But all the things and all the other recommendations and all the other suggestions, I did try it. So some followers asked me to try some window cleaner, some kitchen cleaner, and some asked me to try makeup brush cleaner and makeup remover, and even nail polish remover. And I tried all that, and actually I found that this leather is so, so strong. I was really worried to try that out, especially the nail polish remover because that is so strong and you guys know there's alcohol in it and if you do that on caviar or lamb skin it will actually damage the leather but I tried it on this Rene leather and it's fine I don't force you guys to try that if you have color transfer on your patent leather bag but I just tried it on my Rene leather Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the rose ballerine color 
and it didn't hurt the back and it didn't damage anything on the back so I tried it because I really just wanted that scar to disappear. I'll show you guys the exact products that I used for it because my back didn't get hurt or damaged by these products but it also didn't remove the color transfer so you can try it on your own risk of course. <laughs> so first I tried this and this is the Bioderma uh, makeup remover. So this is actually known to be very mild and it's for sensitive skin so I used to use that for removing my eye makeup and it's not that strong so I tried this but it didn't work um, I just took a cotton pad and, and then I dabbed this solution on and I tried to rub it on the bag and I actually rubbed it for like five minutes or so but it didn't remove anything you can try because it may be working for you but it just didn't work for me because I really don't know how long time that stain have been in the bag when patent leather gets stained or anything like colors on the leather it's best to remove it within one week I think this will work if you like touch your back with dirty hands or like spill soda on it or something like that this will work very well in cleaning it so next thing I tried is window cleanser and um, this is a glass cleanser and it's actually just any brand you can use I think but um, I asked the girl that asked me to try a window cleaner and she actually told me that it was her Louis Vuitton essay that told her that she could remove it with window cleanser if there was any spots or like dirty spots on her Renee leather handbags I was having so high hopes because she told me that a lot of her marks on her handbags got removed by window cleanser so maybe you can try this out because she told me that she even cleaned her handles with this so with this I was using a wet towel to spray it directly on the towel instead of spraying it directly onto the back and then I was rubbing it again for like two to three minutes but it didn't work it didn't get removed or it didn't get better I just really think that the stain in my back is so deep and sunken really into the leather through the coating next thing I tried is the Etude House Puff and Brush uh, cleaning mist so this I tried to spray directly on the handbag because I was just so desperate to get it removed and I just really wanted to try and again it didn't work uh, I just used a cotton pad for this spray and I sprayed it directly on the handbag as I said it was also a follower who told me that she got a stain removed from her handbag with a makeup brush like remover so yeah I tried this as well so yeah, please remember the brands that I'm showing you because I really don't want your handbags to get hurt by my video telling you to try this and that because I just wanted to share my experience with you guys and I really hope that if you have color transfer on your handbags that some of these products might help your handbag even though it didn't help mine but they actually helped other people's handbags so I hope that it may somehow help you guys and the last thing that I tried that is the strongest thing and I was so scared that it would damage the leather so with this <laughs> this is the Etude House nail remover and it's nail polish remover and this is actually pretty strong I tried this but I tried it on a cotton swab so on a cotton pen and I just took a bit like from here and I put the pen right there and then I just tried to scrub a bit on the cotton pen and I was trying to clean it from the back with the pen but I saw that it didn't hurt the back and then I was getting really desperate and then I took a cotton pad <laughs> and I just started to pour this on the cotton pad and then I was just placing the handbag on a table and then I was just trying to rub it really hard but um, again it didn't work but there is no kind of damage on the leather there is no kind of blurriness there is no kind of like sometimes when you clean something with your nail polish remover there will be like marks that is really blurry and scratchy but there is nothing the leather is so strong so it is really just so sad that these types of patent leather is prone to color transfer I didn't know that the handle itself would place a color transfer on the back that is so sad because obviously the handle and the handbag is the same color so this should never happen so that was the reason why I contacted Louis Vuitton and I couldn't contact the LV store in Copenhagen that I got this back or my friend got it for me in Denmark in the Copenhagen store there is no emails or anything on the receipt that I have 
only a phone number and when I tried to call them they didn't want to give me their email they just asked me to go online on their website you know the official Louis Vuitton website you can contact them through the contact form so they just told me that uh, the vanille leather is really prone to color transfer since it's patent leather and they always suggest you to store it in a good and cool place so never have it on display where the sun is hitting or anything like that because temperature can also make the bag uh, change its color and stuff like that that is really so sad because you pay so much money for a handbag but yeah, you do actually risk by yourself by choosing a light color like this that it can get dirty and stains and stuff like that. So when you're considering to buy a patent leather bag, you should really keep that in mind that patent leather do really have this problem that it's really sensitive to color transfer. Um, I really didn't think that I had this problem until I saw it. And Louis Vuitton, they just replied me that this is really sensitive for color transferring and from the pictures that they saw they couldn't really tell how it happened and when I posted this picture on Instagram people they told me that I should go to Louis Vuitton and tell them this problem and they should give me a new handbag I really didn't want a new handbag because I know that the Rose Balloween is like a limited color but now I found out that it's a permanent color in the Louis Vuitton line um, before I thought it was a limited color and just seasonal color so I didn't really want a new handbag I just really wanted to get removed so I went to Louis Vuitton yesterday and I didn't expect anything because actually I've heard really bad after sales service cases from my friends and like people that I know with Louis Vuitton people always say that they are not as nice as Chanel but I really don't want to blame them for anything but this time when I went into the store I asked for the store manager because I already talked to the customer service online through emails and they were really friendly um, they asked me to sit down on the sofa and show them the problem and they also gave me like coffee and hot water and stuff like that and candy so service is okay guys and when I showed them the bag they also told me if it's actually the handle itself that hit on the bag um, and I just stored it in the dust bag and the box they should give me a new handbag so they would exchange it but first they were going to send in some pictures they were taking my bag and they went into their I think their workroom uh, where they take pictures and sending them directly to the after sales service it was really relieving me and I was so happy to hear that because I really thought that they would give me a new handbag but when they came out again they actually told me that uh, they won't exchange a new handbag for me because this mark is not actually just by storing it like that and I thought that because I didn't see anything else but they asked me to come over to their room where there is like spotlighting um, where you can see very clearly so they showed me that it's not only here that I have color and they showed me that the handle actually also have some color when they showed me in the room I could see they showed me that the handle is actually also color transferred not really that much on the face on the handle but inside so here on the inner part where you actually carry and hold the handle so they showed me that and they also said they're really sorry that they can't help me and they really can't exchange it for a new bag for me because it's actually um, dirt coming from my own hands of using it it can even be sweat and they also told me that this color is so easy to get color transfer because it's so light in the color so I was really sad to see that there was something on the handles as well which is the reason why it actually color transferred into the bag so there's just something that you need to be aware of when you are buying a patent leather handbag and the Louis Vuitton Rennie leather handbag because it's not just color transfer from clothing or like stuff that stick together with your handbag it's actually also the handle itself so you really need to take a lot of care when you use the handbag so after 
I knew that this would happen, I've stored it in entire different way because you guys know that Louis Vuitton, they don't make anything to protect the handles from the handbag. So when my friend got this bag from me, they didn't give the dust cloth. So I told them that in the store yesterday. So they were really friendly and they gave me one because I said that um, I didn't get one and I really didn't. So you could see that in my unboxing video that I didn't have this dust cloth. So this one is actually for cleaning your patent leather handbag so after each use you can use this to remove any fingerprints and like dirt or like dust so I'm really happy that they gave me this but I'm still really sad that they have no way to help me to actually remove this mark they said that I can actually get these handle exchange um, but I need to pay for it but I don't think that's necessary because I can't even see the color here on the handles if I don't really go out in the sunlight I can't even see it in this lighting um, it's not so obvious and here this line is more obvious but it's really lucky that this is on the back of the bag so when I'm carrying it with the strap like the crossbody strap you won't see it because the handle actually covers the back and I'm wearing it this way so overall I really think that this is the risk that you take by buying a patent leather handbag so I really didn't want to blame them or insist that they should give me a new handbag or anything like that because um, it's really not their problem if there is color on the handle so from now on I'm going to take really good care of the handles if you have the chance to please cut some cotton stuff or fabric stuff that can protect your handles from the handbag so after I knew this would happen I have made these or I've not made it but here's the dust bag and I just store it together these are from my handbag so you guys know that uh, I have the Miss Sweet Love and Miss Secure Lace right now most of my handbags still come with these felts and it's to protect the flap from actually scratching or the hardware hitting the hardware on the flap so this is really useful because actually I cut them just a little bit wider so this is for Miss True Love and I just put them right onto the handle now so it covers there and when I store it in its dust bag I can place it like this and I'll just put one more on the other side so it will be stored really well from now on because if you have the chance to just cut some fabric or something where you can fit the handles in and then you can store it just like this and it will be safe I even have customers asking me if my back chaps to call the transfer into my handbag and actually no uh, you guys know that my back chaps do come in real leather so they're either made in leather or patent leather and actually they do never color transfer on any of my handbags but yeah you guys all know my back chaps and many of you already have them and even have all the colors and I've recently just made the Black Lucky Crystal Horse again. So if you're interested in that, it's back in stock. And I will leave the link down below. And I will also leave a discount code together with the link down below. And yeah, I think that's it for this video, guys. I don't know if I missed anything. If I missed anything, please leave any helpful shares or any helpful comments down below in the comment box because these type of videos are not really seen on YouTube and I really hope that it's helpful for those of you who are considering to buy a patent leather handbag or for those of you who already have a patent leather handbag or maybe even have a color transfer that you're looking to remove I just really hope that this video is helpful in some way so if you guys got any color transfers or like stains or pen marks anything like that removed from your patent leather handbag I would really like to know and it may also be helpful to others who is watching this video so please just leave me any comment down below if you had any issues like that and actually got it removed I will be so happy if this thing can be removed but if not I can live with that and yeah I think that's it I really hope that you like this video and please let me know your honest opinion about my new hair do you like it or do you not like it Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys!